Hey YouTube, um, this is kind of off and on again kind of situation. You know, I want to. Well, one thing I want to talk about real quick is how do some of you guys out there do reviews on wrestling every three or four days and not get as tired out as quickly as I did? I got tired out so quickly it just fried my mind. And I started back in what March doing reviews. I did do I did a like four, maybe six or seven videos or something like that. And then I just stopped dead. I, I I couldn't keep doing it. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to ask that question. Some of you guys ask me, just give me an answer to that. How can you keep going without getting burned out so easily? That's all I want to know from you guys. Moving on, um. The wrestling world is kind of been on its, uh, it's just been on a tilt to me lately. Because lately I've been liking TNA, and for me, WWE's kind of fallen down, and then it's going back up, back and forth. TNA's here, WWE's here. It's just, I mean, the ratings are always better for WWE, but just entertainment value just keeps move, flop, flopping up and down. And,. I, I'm just trying to figure it out. So, you know, it, it's just a really weird situation for me. I, I can't seem to choose one particular show to like as much as I want to. No, TNA is kind of screwed and screwing up with this whole main event mafia storyline. I, I just don't know. And, you know, for me, what I was trying to do is start to build up my start to build it up as I was trying to do back in April March and April and crap I was trying to start to build myself up and get better and I probably would have if I didn't just stopped abruptly like I did I probably would have started getting better and better and better you know and my goal was to eventually get so good I'd win the award for best wrestling reviewer under the age of 18 you know when spinnernet does all those when spinnernet did those awards I wanted to see if I could try to build myself up and, and eventually see if I could be that good obviously I'm really not that good because I got burned out so easily and if you get burned out with only in three weeks that kind of tells you you're kinda not as good as you would hope you were or you thought you were but Besides that, you know, I'm I'm gonna keep. I sw I know I say this a lot. I have said this a lot. But I'm gonna start making videos a lot more often. Every eh three days, three or four days maybe. It just depends on how I feel. But I w they will be up every three or four days. Maybe I'll do one right after Raw. And right after SmackDown, they won't necessarily be reviews. I just, I'm just, so just so I know what time I'm gonna do them. I'm set in Pacific time, ten o'clock Central, and nine o'clock Central. Ten o'clock Central Mondays, nine o'clock Central Friday. Just that just gives me a perfect timing to do it. On occasion that there's a pay per view, and I like the pay per view, I'll do it. I do another one then. Besides that, I'll probably just do it Mondays and Fridays, or maybe Mondays and Thursdays. You know what? You know what? Actually, you know what? Wednesdays would be better for me. So maybe Wednesdays and Saturdays, because that's actually that actually works better for me. Because I have more free time to think, and it just my mind's always clear clear better on those days because I don't have anything to do those days. So um yeah um you know before I start babbling even more, worse than where I already am. I which should probably I, I, what I don't get is how I'm my, well, my question for you guys is what's going on with this whole special guest raw special host of raw every every week I mean what we had Batista this this past week now we're gonna have well, who is it Ted DiBiase senior stop nodding your head like a bobblehead dude. I don't, I don't, that's my brother back there, but I'm just kind of confused. 
with how where they're going with this. I'm trying to figure out where it's going to lead to. Is it going to lead to another general manager of Monday Night Raw, or what? But I I just don't know. I like I like I'd really like to know that. But um, yeah. I hope someone can figure that out for me because I just really would like to know. But yeah um, I'm kind of. Getting ready for the go celebrate the Fourth of July, so um, I'm gonna go start the grill. Well, some, or some, well, maybe I not make my like so, someone in my family start gonna be starting up the grill pretty soon, so I don't know. So yeah, um, have fun. I'm gonna have fun with that. Hopefully, you guys have a nice Fourth. Hopefully, you guys will have fun too. Um, don't get murdered by any eight. Don't get murdered by any uh stupid idiots. Today or get blown off with a firecracker, you know, just throw sort a of firecracker you let in and blows your hand off. Don't be that stupid, all right? Please don't be that stupid. But yeah, um, that's it for now. Um, um, actually, I'll be back. Mm, actually, we'll be back on tomorrow to get more in depth with wrestling. I just wanted to babble real quick because this is my babble day. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys have time to. What's going on? And have have a happy Fourth of July, peace.